Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for the sign of Gemini. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Gemini? What is Gemini needing to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Ten of Cups. Okay, so a content and reward in family life. Your emotion, your emotional and material needs are being met in trustworthy relationships. Okay, so you guys, if you're not feeling emotionally fulfilled, you guys, yeah, Knight of Swords. So this may be the change taking place for you guys very suddenly. The change that you guys have been praying for. But this is you feeling emotionally fulfilled and uh, feeling truly blessed to be able to live the life that you're able to live. And this is showing up in your current energy. So if you're not feeling that way right now, then you will be feeling that way very shortly. Okay, what is the current challenge or blockage for Gemini? The King of Pentacles. Okay, a successful time, confidently accepting opportunities you're offered and the might as such. Okay, we'll dive a little deeper into that and see what that's about. Some of y'all, it could be a person in your life. Some of y'all, uh, because with the being in, with the knight, or not the knight, the king of pentacles being in the shadow energy. So you may feel like this is someone who's stingy because the king of pentacles and his light is someone who's generous, professional, responsible, and practical. So some of y'all, it could be someone that you feel is unprote uh, unprofessional, uh, someone who's irrespons irresponsible, someone who is stingy as well, materialistic. Let's see, what's energy coming towards um, Gemini? What's energy coming towards Gemini? The lovers. Wow. Okay, an intimate relationship. Some of y'all may be weighing out some decisions by them, getting that there is a relationship here that's developing between you and someone else. Okay, <clears throat> what's the energy that Gemini is being guided to release? What's the energy that Gemini is being guided to release? The two of wands. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward. So some of y'all may be stuck or feeling stuck in a situation. <clears throat> what is Gemini being guided to focus on? strength great inner strength release harsh judgments and forgiveness and compassion who is currently focused on gemini ace of wands so inside a new uh, an exciting new opportunity career adventure change your life now let's see some of y'all is someone completely new showing up someone who could potentially change your life completely what is the advice for Gemini? Page of Wands. So, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality. Overall energy is renewal. I'm not getting reconciliation. Usually I get reconciliation with that. But I am getting like things changing for the better in your life. It's like starting over, moving in a new direction is what I'm getting for someone. Let's see. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups as the current energy for Gemini. Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. Okay. Some of y'all may be meeting someone new with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. Some of y'all may meet someone new um, while you're out having a good time because the Three of Cups is that energy of just enjoying yourself, having a great time. Some of you guys, this is just how you're viewing this uh, person. It's someone that you have a lot of chemistry with, someone that you have a great time with. You and this person truly enjoy each other's company because, I mean, the Ten of Cups is a very rewarding relationship, so... This is when you feel like your emotional and material needs are being met and it's someone that you can trust and depend on. 
So some of you guys, this person is either coming into your life or you have recently met this person because they're showing up in your current energy. Let's see. Why the King of Pentacles and the challenge? Why is the King of Pentacles in the challenge position? The Two of Pentacles. And the Temperance. Um... I'm getting the reason why the King of Pentacles is showing up in your challenge position. It's not because the King of Pentacles is a bad person. But you're actually very attracted to this person. Some of you guys, you may be meeting this person um, at work. But the King of Pentacles, it does look like this is someone romantically coming into your life. Someone who's going to be extremely generous towards you. Someone who's very kind and caring. Um, it does look like this is someone that you are meeting in a professional setting though but i'm getting like with the two of pentacles and the temperance showing up here in the four of swords when this person shows up you may be in the process of healing from something and you're basically saying like look i'm trying to find like balance within my life on multiple levels here and it's like, you don't have time for this right now. It's what I'm getting. The energy coming uh, from you. Clarify the lovers. Queen of Wands and the Chariot. I am getting Gemini. This storyline of someone coming into your life. It's like the love of your life coming into your life completely unexpected. Is when you're just doing your own thing. Um, I'm getting like you doing something. You feel extremely confident about something that you're manifesting. Something that you're doing. Something that you're going after here. Quite possibly something that you've been manifesting for some time. Dare I say, Gemini, that a time is going to come where things are going so well you're gonna be like i don't even have time for love and that's when someone is coming in and they're sweeping you off your feet i'm getting you're gonna meet the love of your life when you're not focused on love at all it's gonna come in completely unexpected because this is like a breathtaking relationship between you and someone else something that you've been patiently waiting to uh, to develop to come into your life and you know what it's coming in when you're not focused on it at all because you're so focused on whatever you're developing for yourself you do not have to focus on love because the love that's coming into your life is one that's divinely orchestrated So it's going to unfold in the perfect timing. Let's see. Clarify the two of wands as what Gemini should be releasing at this time. The emperor and the ten of wands. I don't know. Have you guys placed someone on the pedestal? Because the emperor is showing up as the energy that she should be releasing. The emperor in the shadow energy is someone who likes to have power and control over people. So quite possibly there's someone that you feel like uh, who likes to have power and control over you. Or you may feel like they have power and control over you in one aspect of your life. Um, because the two of wands... I'm getting like this person has been blocking you from exploring and seeing what else is out there. And they're very strategic about how they do it too. Because quite possibly whenever you're on the verge of like exploring and seeing what else is out there, really putting yourself out there, I don't know, maybe they come up with some reason for you to allow them back in your life or I don't know is someone who is very strategic about their moves and they like to have power and control over you but I don't 
Because what is this Eight of Swords, which is you being in your head? Some of y'all, I don't know if you guys are coming to this person for advice or you're talking to this person about certain things, but they're not helping. And you need to stop talking to them about certain things. You will actually do better by just connecting with your spirit guides. And you guys can do this all on your own. Really, you can. I don't know if you guys are going to people for advice or like seeking guidance. I don't know what you're doing. But connecting to your spirit guides is something that you can do all on your own. You don't need to take any particular steps. And this is you kind of like laughing. It's like once you realize that it's like someone trying to connect with the divine, um, their spirit guides, and it's like you were trying to figure out the steps to connect, and it's like realizing that you never needed all of those steps. Like you had it within you all alone. You never needed anyone to like guide you on doing something or to help you doing something. You had it within yourself all alone. So I'm getting two messages here. I'm getting like someone learning to trust themselves more intuitively or trusting the intuitive messages that they're receiving. And then I'm also getting like someone no longer allowing another person to like prevent them from exploring other options or seeing what else is out there for them, seeing what the world has to offer them. And some of you guys, it could be pertaining to love. Some of you guys have allowed an ex because with renewal being your overall energy, and you know what, like seeing the nine of swords, if you see like all of these other unicorns, like kind of drain, not doing nothing, this one unicorn, like, okay, I'm ready to go. Some of you guys have been like, or some of you guys may have felt trapped in this type of environment. Some of you guys have outgrown like your current environment or the people that you were around for some time. Because this is like you looking around and like, okay, nobody is doing nothing. I'm ready to go. You're this unicorn that's sitting up like, why are y'all laying down? Let's go. So some of y'all feel like, I'm getting like, these are like the people you have been around. Like, quite possibly you're very adventurous. You want to do more. And some of y'all feel like the people that you've been around, like they're unmotivated. They're not wanting to do much with themselves. Um, some of you guys also, there's a connection quite possibly like you guys may have children as well. Um, some of you guys, it may be the mother or the father of your children. It's like, you just want to give that happy home for your child. I don't know, but I'm not getting like love from this connection. It's more of like an obligation type of energy is what I'm getting. And that's why I'm getting like quite possibly it could be a child involved for someone. Um, but then I'm getting like this new relationship showing up. Um, I feel like it's showing up sooner than you're expecting, but I still feel like it's kind of off a little bit more. Like, I don't feel like it's going to happen within this year. Um, quite possibly next year, but I definitely am getting like, it's still a little bit more time before this relationship develops because there's something taking place in your career, Gemini, before this relationship. Because you're in this energy of being focused on your career because everything is just kind of taking off for your career. And love is on the back burner. Love is just not on your mind. Okay, clarify the strength. Clarify the strength. I'm getting some of you guys are like, some of you guys like the things that you've overcome um, or things that you've had to overcome in your life, you guys are going to use to help guide others. That is your strength. That's what you should be focused on is what I'm getting for someone. I don't know. Some of you guys are trying to figure out like, what is your specialty? What you should be doing? And they're basically saying like, what have you overcome? This is your strength. This is what you should be focused on. This is like, some of y'all are guides. Like you were meant to be guides. But it's what you've overcome yourself, not what you've learned from someone else. It's what you've actually experienced yourself. Okay, clarify strength for me. King of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. 
and Paige Cups. Good news when it comes to your finances coming in. I am getting a person showing up for you, um, Gemini. I keep getting this uh, message. Now, going back to the strength, one thing that this person will admire about you is your strength, your confidence, your courage. There's something about you that is just going to catch this person's attention. But the main thing that they're going to notice about you, uh, Gemini, is your courage, your confidence, your strength. That's what they'll admire about you. Some of you guys, they're going to love just listening to you. Some of you guys, this person loves your voice. But they will love to just sit and listen to the stories that you have to share. I'm getting like you feeling like you hit the jackpot in life with this person. But I'm also getting some of you guys may actually meet this person like at some sort of like talking event. But I'm getting like you just jumping for joy, Gemini, like feeling truly blessed, feeling like you hit the jackpot in life. So I don't know like how you guys have been feeling, but you're going to be jumping for joy pretty soon. Sooner than you're expecting, but I'm also getting like some of y'all is like not soon enough, <laughs> but you'll realize that it's all in perfect timing when it all unfolds. Okay, clarify the Ace of Wands. And I, that's why I'm getting this is someone completely new because Ace of Wands, this is a new beginning, a very passionate new beginning that's taking place, but I don't get that it's presented itself yet. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah, clarifying the ace of my the ace of wands is the moon, which is my cards to let me know is something that has not been revealed to you yet. And the reason why five of cups, you're still needing to focus on some healing here. Um, clarify the page of wands. Ooh. Okay. Gemini. I am getting that you are going to receive some disappointing news. That's going to actually be the best news that you've heard in a long time. And I'm getting that it may sound crazy, but I'm getting that you'll actually be excited when you hear this news. I'm not sure what it's pertaining to, but it's going to allow you to walk away from something. And you're actually going to be happy about it. I am getting, yes, you'll be upset. But ultimately, you'll realize that this is what's best for you. Being able to walk away from some sort of situation here. It's like you're finally able to turn your back on something. But it looks like you felt like you weren't able to in the past. But now it's like you're able to, and you're able to dance with the beat of your own drum. It's like you're finally able to break free of something and to do what's best for you. So I don't know. It's like you'll know when this news comes in because it's like you should be upset about it, but instead you're jumping for joy. But even though I do see like it'll hit you, I don't know. It's like, when some news hit, you'll be upset about it. It'll hurt. But then it's like, you know what? You know that it's good for you. So it's like, you don't stay in this energy for long at all. It's like you allow yourself to feel that emotion and then to move past it. And to embrace this new beginning that's coming in for you. It's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. Let's pull a couple more and then we'll close this out. signs and illusion okay some of y'all's right now it's just hard for you to trust your intuition at this time or you just kind of feel all over the place because with signs and illusions you feel like you're not receiving clear uh clear mess clear messages so the best thing to do is to learn how to quiet your thoughts and the worst thing you can do when you're trying to quiet your thoughts is to force yourself to quiet your thoughts do something where you're moving, but you're in like a, I don't know, getting out by water, uh, getting out in nature. That's the best thing for me. But every to each of them, it's doing something that you'll enjoy to help you clear your mind.
Okay, let's see. Final messages for Gemini. Final message for Gemini. Change message lovers. <clears throat> <clears throat> some of you guys uh, some of you guys may end up having to relocate for a love relationship that's coming into your life I am getting again there is some sort of message that's going to allow you to move away from someone or move away from something here but there is a significant change that's going to take place and it looks like it's taking place after you receive some sort of message I'm also getting a relationship for someone coming in it's like you i don't know some guys are already connecting with this person energetically but there's someone new showing up this is going to be the love of your life this is the person that you'll end up growing old with and settling down with but then there's also another situation that you're able to set yourself free of and i'm not sure if this is love or not if it's love i'm not getting like love really being in this situation it's more of an obligation um but I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.